Steph where? <laughs> Steph where? <laughs> Long hair. <laughs> Don't care. I'm just playing. Okay, let me stop. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be straightening my hair for the first time in a year. Yes, I said it. That's right, a year. A year ago, my hair was looking like this. And then I decided, you know what? Let me just go ahead and grow out my hair and then eventually cut off all the straight pieces. And at first I was like, I'll just wait till a year and then I'll cut off the straight pieces. But then I was like, no, cause I want the length. I'm sorry, I do, I don't care. And I'm probably gonna wait until another year. And then that's when I will probably do the final cut of all the straight pieces off. But yes, so here's my hair, little mini hair journey of how I looked in 2018 when I first cut it off cause I was going through a lot. <laughs> so I cut it off and looked a hot mess. And then this is how it grew out because of my cut. It's not because my hair was breaking off or my hair was damaged, it's because I cut my hair like that. So anyways, this is how I was looking at the beginning of 2019. This is how I was looking at the end of 2019. And then I just decided, cause I didn't like how it was like just different layers everywhere. So my auntie snipped it off in December and now I'm going to show you the final results of what my hair looks like now, December 2020. One year, woo, no heat, honey. I honestly did not believe I could do it, but I did it. Anyways, so right now, obviously I look a hot mess. Like I said, 10 o'clock is really late for me because I know I'm not gonna finish my hair until probably like 12. But anyways, I washed my hair and conditioned it with Ozzy. So if you guys can see this, there we go. Ozzy, this is what I use, it's very cheap and it works for me and I don't care if anybody uses something else because it works for my hair and I'm good with it. And then I deep conditioned it with this. My hair has probably been deep conditioned in like this cap for about two hours because I was taking my test while I was deep conditioning. So I'm about to rinse it out and I'm probably just gonna do one more quick wash just because I don't like my hair stiff. Like if I'm gonna straighten it, I wanna straighten it right. I just decided to change because I know I'm about to get hot because it's gonna be a lot of heat, especially when I'm blow drying my hair. It should be blowing everywhere and it's hot. And I'm going to show you guys the blow dryer. I realized I never showed you that. <laughs> so this is the blow dryer I use. It's literally from Walmart. I've been having this probably now for like two years, three years, and it still works for me, so I'm not gonna change it. And then the straightener that I just bought today, cause like I said, when I went on the year long um, no heat challenge, I threw away my straightener so that I would not be tempted to use it. But then I remembered that it was my sister's straightener and it was like really, really expensive. So basically I just wasted that money. And I bought the cheap one from Walmart. That's $17, honey. Cause guess what? All straighteners straighten your hair. That's all I know. And I bought the Cantu. Um, this is the Cantu Thermal Shield Heat Protected. And then this is the Cantu Shoot. Oh my God, I can't talk. Cantu Super Shine Hair Silk. And both of them say lightweight. So that is why I got it because one, I do not like when I do my hair and I straighten it and it's sticky looking. I cannot stand that. Like if I look down and my hair is still up, that's a problem. So I get lightweight stuff. Now I've never used this before. I'm not gonna lie, I never use this. I usually use uh, the Moroccan oil, the weightless one, but they didn't have no more at Walmart so I just bought these. And now I'm going to comb out my hair, part it in four sections, and then you will see me blow dry. what my hair is looking like blow dried it's a hot mess but anyways you can let me back up so um this is probably where my hair is gonna fall when it's straightened but um I try to cut it like two months ago I cut like probably an inch and a half or like two inches off because the ends were really bad like I could tell I, I need a trim definitely but am I gonna trim it no I'm just <laughs> like I said I'm just gonna let it grow out one more year and then cut it all off. However, if my hair was breaking off, I would cut it. I would not keep it. But it doesn't break off, so I'm not gonna cut it. I'm gonna keep it. Wait. 
long okay <laughs> thank you guys so much for tuning in i really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did give it a thumbs up if you didn't comment why you didn't like it okay maybe because i said a lot about you know not cutting my hair and i don't care if my ends are like this i don't care i'm not gonna cut it but anyways <laughs> y'all have a good day bye